Engine coolant, also known as antifreeze, is a specific liquid that protects your engine from overheating or freezing and keeps it running within the correct operating temperature range. Engine coolant is located in a coolant reservoir affixed to the radiator before it's introduced to the engine block and its components. A deteriorated coolant looks rusty in color and has particles floating in it. You may find your engine is overheating and experience heater malfunction while driving. It will turn on the coolant light on your dashboard and store the coolant temperature related error codes. If your vehicle has encountered coolant related problems, here are three steps to a complete coolant flush. Engine coolant reservoir is often a translucent white bottle and the radiator is the large panel at the front of the car. Cool down the engine and remove the radiator cap. Locate the radiator lower hose. Place a container underneath the hose. Remove the hose and allow the coolant to drain. To better drain out the used coolant, start the engine and turn the temperature control to maximum heat. Closely monitor the coolant temperature gauge on your dashboard to prevent engine overheating. Once the used coolant is drained out completely, turn off the engine and replace the hose. Next, add fresh coolant to the radiator until it reaches the base of the filler neck. And then take off the cap of the coolant reservoir, fill it with fresh coolant, not exceeding the full line, then replace the cap. After filling, start the engine and let it idle for a few minutes to let the system purge all the air out, and then add coolant as needed. Replace the radiator cap. Closely monitor the coolant temperature gauge on your dashboard. Once the coolant temperature reaches 190 degrees Fahrenheit, turn off the engine. After the engine has completely cooled down, remove the radiator cap and add coolant to its full level. So here are three steps to a complete coolant flush. To save more money on car expenses, claim a free engine code scanner by clicking the link here or at the description link below. You're also welcome to leave comments below, our mechanic professionals will answer them shortly. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching this video.